Hey, how's it going YouTube? It is The Hoff and today we are in my living room where tomorrow is going to be new 4K TV day. So first I just want to go over what is currently in this setup. As you see off to the right is the Xbox One. There is a Roku Ultra there which um, I have for some streaming. And then we have DirecTV and we have a Samsung 3D Blu-ray player. The Samsung 3D Blu-ray player will be going upstairs because this is a Samsung 3D Blu-ray player. It is 55 inch LED and this TV player combo we got, I wanna say it was back in 2012, 2011? No, 2012. We got it around Thanksgiving time of 2012 for Black Friday deals. And this was about the best of the best you could buy in the 55 inch TV range back then. And it was about the same. It was a little more for the TV itself uh, than what we currently paid, which is, um, this was I think 2,500 and the new TV was on sale for 22, almost 2,300. And the new TV is a 4K TV coming in that's 65 inches, which I will go over in just a little bit showcasing off the TV and discussing a few of the things, but I just want to show you the spot it's going in and how it all looks currently. Now I'll be moving, like I said, the Samsung Blu-ray player. Um, I'm not sure about the cabling behind it. I'm kind of hoping the TV might hide some of that. And I'm hoping that the height of the new TV isn't much lower. I mean, a little bit lower is fine, but I know it's gonna be wider, so I gotta think of what I'm gonna do if it ends up lower and I can't put the Xbox here. See what I'll do about that. But there you have it, and in just a few, you will be seeing the 4K TV. Okay, as you can see, there is no TV up here for what was supposed to be my brand new 65 inch OLED TV. Um, so as you can see, there is on the right, the Xbox, I got a Roku Ultra and I got the direct TV there and some cables that kind of need to be, uh, addressed once the TV is in its place and I can start moving things around and make it look all nice and neat back there. But let's go ahead and go upstairs where I can discuss the situation and what happened and everything going forward. Here's what happened. I ordered a TV on Saturday, and today is now the 21st of June, so I ordered it this past Saturday. They told me it would be delivered Wednesday the 20th, and that I need to get everything prepared. I got an email and everything, and I got an Xbox One X, and I got a uh, 4K 65 inch TV, which I'll show off when it finally does come in. And we had been talking between two different models of the same TV and we were informed that one model was no longer available to get. And I'll discuss that part of the situation when the fun TV finally comes in. So the guy said, we have one, it's right here. Would you like to take this model home that you selected? And we were currently driving the 370Z. Two seater, cannot fit a 65 inch TV in it whatsoever. My other car is an Infiniti G37X. Well, it is four doors, but there's no way you're gonna fit a TV in there properly for a 65 inch to take home. So we said, no, we can't. My in-laws have vehicles, I could probably do it, but we didn't wanna bother them. We could have just waited, like we ended up choosing to. And because I was off this past two weeks, having to use timeout or uh, leave from the army, I said, it's perfect timing, we'll go ahead and just wait and get it done. And the next available time was Wednesday. They had other times, but the other times just were way too late and I didn't wanna wait any longer than what I had to. So, here it comes Wednesday, which was yesterday, and I'm sitting there waiting and I'm like, okay. And before we even get into Wednesday, let's talk about the lead up. I got a phone call from their automated service, I believe it was Monday, and the automated service 
had informed me I needed to call them back to reschedule. So I'm thinking, is there an issue? Can I call and reschedule for an earlier appointment maybe? Because there's one available, I don't know. I called the automated service back as instructed and it asked me a couple questions of why I'm calling, finally directed me to the person that I need to talk to. And in doing so, you have I had to wait like 28 minutes, so I selected the option to call me back when I'm next in line. It does, it works perfectly fine. The gentleman answers the phone finally when it goes to one of their operators and he gets all my information, looks it up and says, no, you're good to go, we don't show any issues. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. And he's like, and we don't have any other earlier deliveries. You have the earliest, the next delivery would be the following week. So I'm like, no, I'm not waiting any longer. I'm gonna be at work at that time. I just can't wait any longer because both me and my wife currently work. So we're like, perfect, no problem. Then Tuesday, I get another phone call. I ignore it when it tells me the same thing because well, like I just talked to the guy yesterday, he said there was no problem. Then later on Tuesday, I get the phone call saying we're confirming your delivery for tomorrow. So I'm like, great, everything I guess is fine then. And it's an automated phone call saying we're calling to confirm your delivery for tomorrow. Are there any issues to press one to reschedule, press two for, uh, no issues to confirm and I press to confirm whatever good to go so here it is you know yesterday Wednesday and my delivery schedule is from uh, 8 to noon so you know morning to noon I was like cool wake up get a TV and have all day to enjoy it try out my blu-ray ultra HD blu-rays uh, the one 4k game that I got no problem Next thing you know, here it comes, 11 o'clock, and I'm starting to get a little worried. I'm like, oh, they got an hour. No big deal. I'm not going to call and fuss when they have an hour left. whoop de doo 12 o'clock rolls around, and I'm like, okay, now it's 12. What's going on here? So I'm like, I'll give them another 50 minutes to an hour or so. And about 12.50, I call the local store to find out if there's a problem with the delivery guy getting backed up. No answer. Rang, rang, rang a few times. So I'm like, okay, I'll wait a while. Try to call back an hour later. And finally someone picks up. And they inform me that the TV is being shipped in. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We were there in the store. The guy confirmed on the computer that there was a TV in stock for what we were buying. And even showed us the TV on the floor. It was in the box, sitting on the floor waiting it wasn't like they had it put back in their stock room or something it was right there and it was one of the tvs we were specifically looking for out of the two types uh models and he said yes would you like to take it home and she informed me well if you would have took it home at that time then we wouldn't have had it for another customer i'm like what other customer like some other customer ordered the TV apparently before we supposedly got the TV in the store. They ordered it online and came in and got it. And I'm like, how in the heck does that work when you're supposed to have a system that updates your stock? So he could have let us know that we don't have any. The one on the floor is going out to a customer. They just haven't taken it yet. Because that's what they try to tell me is the back's room hasn't taken it to be held for a customer but it was a customer's tv already before we even came in the door and i was like no that just doesn't make sense you're a big box retail store that should have that stuff figured out and that should have been problems when online started becoming a lot bigger of an ordering than it was today like online problems as far as Someone ordering online, someone get, coming in the store and trying to get the same thing. Those issues should have been worked out. I can understand if it's so close together, but she made it sound like the person came in the morning. We came in the afternoon. So if the person came in the morning, you at least have like two hours, an hour or so for everything to get updated to let us know that that TV is not in stock. So I'm not sitting here waiting almost half a day for a TV to come into my house. So I'm like, okay, fine, Best Buy. 
what can we do about this? And they said, well, your TV is on order to come in on a Saturday. And I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't even hear what Saturday she said at first. And at first I thought it was gonna be this coming Saturday, but no, it's the 30th of June. So I'm like, not only do I have to wait for the TV to come in now when I, that wasn't what was told to me. And if it was told to me at first, fine and dandy. I will wait because I got what would be considered a good deal on a TV that's considered one of the top TVs for what I chose at the time. So I would have been fine with waiting. But this whole deal, I was like, this is ridiculous. Not only do I have to wait for a Saturday, but it's not this coming Saturday, it's a Saturday after, and that's for it to come in. Then I gotta wait till the Monday for delivery. I'm like, that is ridiculous. And she said, well, that's all we can do. So then I call back and I immediately ask to speak to the manager and they're like, what is it about? And I'm like, it's about delivery. And I'm delivery of what? And I'm like, a TV. And they're like, okay. So I'm assuming the manager thinks it's an issue with the TV that was already delivered or something. And so I speak to the manager, tell the manager what happened. The manager's like, well, I'm sorry, there's nothing we could do. And I'm like, seriously? Like, you're not gonna do anything? So I call corporate, corporate's like, well, you gotta take it up with the store manager. I'm like, seriously? Like, no one is going to address the issue that y'all screwed up and we were even considering going to Best Buy and getting a sound bar down the road because we got this TV on credit where it's 24 months same as cash and we're gonna pay it off in 12. So we were considering as we get more of our other uh, bills paid down where we have the car paid off for the Infinity and a few other things paid off uh, that we're gonna eventually after the car, Infinity, um, and our sleep number bed and like one other item is paid off, then we might look into getting a sound bar as well. And we want Dolby Atmos sound bar to get the best sound quality. And we said sound bar because the way our living room is designed, I don't necessarily think having speakers behind us that we could do it properly. I don't know how I would get my wife convinced that I can put speakers in there unless I have them mounted above and I don't know if she liked that too well. So my wife is fed up, I'm fed up, and we're like, something's gotta be done. Well, I tweeted my displeasure, which if you wanna go and you can add me on Twitter, I'm not gonna post my uh, message on Twitter. You can find it by going down in my description and Follow me on Twitter if you want to see various things. But I got the Best Buy support to hit me back after I tweeted at Best Buy. And they were, needless to say, a little more supportive, which is their role to support for Best Buy issues. And in the end, they credited me $75 in a gift card. So I'm like, okay, fine. At least I got something for it. I mean, granted, I wasn't searching for money. I wasn't searching for any of this stuff. I just wanted them to acknowledge and hopefully not have this issue again. I don't wanna see anyone else go through this problem because for me, it's a little easier on my time. And on the second, I'll be off again. So at least I'll have the time off to go ahead and have the TV installed. But soon I'm not gonna have that time and luxury. I'm gonna be going out and about places. So these businesses are gonna to have to adhere to the times they set for customers. Sorry about that, fun rang. Had to take care of an issue. But basically, I just don't want this to happen for anybody else. So that's the only reason I'm mostly complaining is because I've heard other people had this issue. Uh, I posted about this on Reddit and someone said that they were told shipping would take like two days and here it was like, a couple weeks later and they got it. So it tends to be a common thing with misinformation on inventory, shipping dates and other things. And for such a big store like Best Buy, you think they have that figured out. It, it's kind of sad because I was actually, when I first came into this area, looking to get everything from HH Gregg and then they ended up going out of business before we were able to finalize what we were gonna buy. Just about the time we were gonna buy everything is when they went out of business and they were not taking anything on credit at the time. 
they were trying to get everything sold off as is or cheaper pricing. So uh, thank you guys for letting me rant about the story and hopefully this doesn't happen to you guys and as soon as the TV comes in I will show it off to you guys and I will go ahead and add in the uh, other parts of what I didn't put in when buying this TV and everything in the next video about the TV when it finally comes in unless I get something in before then but thank you guys thank you finally for YouTube for allowing ads and hopefully you guys will continue to watch and support me because ads help me help you and I can eventually as this channel builds up do some more giveaways